Listen, I'm going to tell you a magic trick so that you have fewer things to remember. 2 times 4 is 8, and 4 times 2 is also 8. Whichever way you say it, it is the same result, isn't it? You just need to remember one of the multiplications. And as that trick works with every multiplication, we only have to memorise half of the tables. In Mathematics, I'm going to suggest you remember the multiplication that start with the smallest number. For example, with 4 times 2 and 2 times 4, I would always tell the story of 2 times 4, as that is the one that, that start with the smallest number. So how would you do it if I asked for 4 times 2? You just have to change around the two numbers in your head and remember the result of the story of 2 times 4. It's magic, isn't it? Now you just need to practice. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of 1 times 2? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mrs. Two Squeaks, she casts a spell <laughs> and changes her into Two Squeaks Clown. <laughs> One times two is two. What's the story of two times two? When Mrs. Two Squeaks meets Mr. Two Squeaks, she invites him to share a magnificent slice of cheese. Mrs. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the bottom and Mr. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the top. The two mice aren't hungry anymore. They put the rest of their meal to one side, which has taken the shape of a four. 2 times 2 is 4. Wow. What's the story of 2 times 3? When the mouse 2 squeaks, sees 3 can stand the monster right in front of her, she panics. She runs away and pushes 3 can stand as she goes. He falls backwards and a bolt falls out of his head. The twisted bolt takes the shape of a six. Two times three is six. <coughs> What's the story of two times four? When two squeaks sees Vamp Fort disguised as a mouse, she is not so sure but a gust of wind blows away his false ears in the shape of an eight and the imposter is revealed. Two times four is eight. What's the story of two times five? When two squeaks comes across flaming five she is so frightened, she runs away as fast as she can. But Flaming Five breathes out an enormous flame and changes the frightened mouse into a boiling hot snail. The head of the snail takes the shape of a one and its shell the shape of a zero. Two times five is ten. What's the story of two times six? When two squeaks sees Scorpio Six the Scorpio, she is frightened he will sting her. She is terrified and runs away. She scurries down a mouse hole and hides behind a wall in the shape of a one. Oof, two squeaks are safe at last. Two times six 
is 12. What's the story of 2 times 7? Great, it's Christmas! Two Squeaks and Ram 7 decide to give each other a present. <laughs> Two Squeaks, judging by the lovely smell, thinks her present is a cheese. She loves cheese. Ram 7 would like to get a sock. Hers are also old. They both open their presents, but Two Squeaks has got a sock in the shape of a one. She is so disappointed, she throws it away. As for Ram 7, she finds an old piece of cheese in the shape of a four. She throws it away too. A very Merry Christmas. Two times seven is 14. What's the story of two times eight? When two squeaks is surprised by the wailing of Spooky Eight, the ghost, she gives a little shriek. This wakes up a cat who was sleeping in a dustbin. When she sees the cat, she yells even louder. The ghost has found someone scarier than him. The dustbin and its lid make a one. The cat and its tail make a six. Two times eight is sixteen. What's the story of two times nine? When two squeaks meets her friend Slimy Nine, she is delighted to have a chat. But the two friends are petrified. When the hook of a fishing rod catches Slimy Nine in his neck. And worst of all, at the end of the fishing rod is a horrible piranha. The fishing rod is in the shape of a one and the fish is in the shape of an eight. Two times nine is eighteen. What's the story of two times ten? When two squeaks meets the potion magic ten, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Two times ten is twenty. Wow.